are watching captured German films of the top secret Nazi research center at Penamunda, a base on an island in the Baltic Sea. It was here that German scientists developed the first rocket to travel faster than the speed of sound. When it was unleashed on London, it gave no warning of its approach. You heard the explosion before you heard the sound of the missile. The results were devastating. Leading the German research was Werner von Braun, a scientist whose passion about space exploration was exploited by the Nazis. Years later, von Braun would work for NASA on the Apollo missions, but now his focus was on London. The German project had its share of successes and failures. As can be witnessed here, the 2,000-pound warhead could cause a great deal of damage. At first, London felt its wrath, but now individual rockets had names such as Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and New York. Those were the ultimate targets. It was only a matter of time before the range of the rockets would be extended from across the English Channel to across the Atlantic. But Allied bombing combined with the loss of launching sites in Western Europe following the D-Day invasion doomed Germany's chance to maximize the use of these weapons of terror. Hitler believed he could salvage the war with these rockets. More than 10,000 were fired at the Allies. They did cause initial panic to Londoners when first introduced, but they had little military impact on the course of the war. For the Nazis, it was too little, too late. For them, the war simply ended a year too soon. But with the war still raging in the Pacific, an old weapon was making a difference by being used in a very new way.